Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're most welcome. My name is Martha and on this channel I talk about natural hair guidance, wig making tutorials and a little bit of cooking. To be specific, I do snapping. So today, this is going to be a natural hair video and I'm going to be telling you the things you have to understand so that you grow healthy hair and as well reach the target you always dream to reach. So with that being said, let's go right into the video. The first thing you have to know about your hair is your scalp, your scalp type. There, is, there are types of scalps including an oily scalp, a dry scalp and a normal scalp. A dry scalp, someone with a dry scalp is one who washes hair and it dries as well as the scalp. Somebody with a dry scalp is one who experiences itching every time dry scalp every time dry hair every time because you have a dry scalp as well it so much irritates you keep on itching it's so itchy it's so dry that means you have a dry scalp now there is somebody with a normal scalp a normal scalp is just between dry and oily this is one scalp that stays just not dry and not too oily it just stays okay so why are you supposed to know your scalp type if you know your scalp type you're going to know when to oil your hair when to wash your hair when to oil your scalp that means if you get it in the right time of course you're going to grow your hair right that's why you need to know your scalp type number two hair thickness Hair thickness is the actual thickness of your individual hair strand. Hair strand, like how big is your hair? Your one strand of hair, how big is it? For us to know your thickness is you get one strand of hair, hold it in these two fingers and try moving. If you feel your hair, that means your hair is thick. As well, you can compare a sewing thread and your one strand of hair just compare them side by side if you see that they are trying to be same size that means you have thick hair if you know your hair cannot be felt if you know your hair is very tiny compared to a sewing thread that means you have you don't have thick hair you have thin hair so that's how we know now why do you have to know your hair thickness for you to know your hair thickness, it helps you to know how strong your hair is. How, like, how strong is it? Thin hair breaks so fast. It's so easy to break thin hair. And thick hair is not so easy. I would advise somebody with thin hair not even to comb. You just have to finger detangle so that you minimize on the breakage because you have higher chances of breaking that hair. And then as well, among the things you have to look for are the things that help to thicken your hair to help your hair to get that body like it has to be a bit thick so that it's strong so that's why we have to know our hair thickness number three hair density hair density is how many hair strands you have on your head how big is your puff if you hold a puff how big is it that is hair density. We have to know our hair density because it helps you to know how to regulate hair breakage. Is it emergency for you to regulate breakage? If you lose strands of hair, do you lose? Like, do you feel the pain? Or like somebody with high density is one who should not so much worry if they lose 2, 3, 5, 10 strands of hair. But then there comes somebody with low density. Somebody with less strands on their head should make sure you don't lose a lot of hair because you already have less hair that means you have to protect it you have to do styles that don't stress your hair so that you don't lose hair that's why you have to know your hair density you have to know in your mind that i have low density and i have to make sure i don't lose hair in your mind you should know that oh my god i have wear too much hair and yeah I, I i it's okay to lose a few because it's not even noticeable like you lose hair and nobody's knowing like you're going through hair loss so that's somebody with high density so you should know your density so that you know exactly what to do for your hair number four hair type 
you have to know your hair types. Hair type or types of hair is a bold topic, but I'm going to briefly talk about it because you have to know. It's on the list of things you should know about your hair. That's when you define your hair from start, like everything is defined until you get the right things to use because you know your hair. Hair types, I'm going to go a bit to my local language to address my sisters who define hair types in these two words. Oh, you have kaweki. Oh, oh, I have munyeriri. No, this is not exactly how we define hair types. Hair types, we have type 1. Type 1 is straight hair. If you're born with straight hair, which automatically you're not an African because no African is born with straight hair. If you straighten your hair, we are going to take you to type 1. So if you're looking for how to deal with African type 1, that is, you was straightened your hair permanently, you're going to go to type 1. Now we have type 2. Type 2 is categorized into three other categories, which is 2A, 2B, and 2C. We have type 3. Type 3 is also categorized into three categories. That is 3A, 3B, and 3C. Go to, let's go to type 4. Type 4 is one that is typically African without any mix of blood that is now an African. Type 4 is coily hair. Type 4 is also categorized into 4A, 4B, and 4C. So for you to know your hair type is only going to help you to follow the right person, to ask the right person, to know the right person. Like if you admire somebody and you see that person has exactly the same type as you do, then you can follow the steps of that person and then treat your hair exactly the same way. That's why you need to know your hair type. Last but not least. This is the most important thing you should know about your hair. You can forget your scalp type, you can forget your thickness, you can forget your density and hair type, but this is a must know. And what am I talking about is the mighty hair porosity. Hair porosity is the key to everything you need to know about your hair. What is hair porosity? Hair porosity is the ability of your hair to gain and retain moisture. The ability of your hair to gain and retain moisture. That is to get and keep the moisture you're giving to your hair. We have high hair porosity, low hair porosity, and medium hair porosity. You should know your hair porosity so that when you choose to follow somebody as well because of the type, you should find out which hair porosity that person has. If the person has exactly the same hair porosity girl, you are just good to copy everything. If she posts anything like she's washing hair, just run to the bathroom and wash hair. Wait until she washes hair. Wait until everything she's doing, you should do because you people have exactly the same hair porosity. Hair porosity helps you in a number of things, actually almost everything. If you know your hair porosity, you're going to know which type of water am I going to use to wash my hair. There are people who need to wash hair with warm water and as well there are people who need to wash hair with normal water, like not cold, not cold, just normal. You just stand in shower and wash your hair without warm water. There are people who warm water does not work for. Hair porosity as well is going to help you know how many times you should wash your hair in a month. There are people like low hair porosity. If you work on your hair and you moisturize it properly according to how you're supposed to because you're low hair porosity, you're not going to need to wash your hair that much. Somebody with high hair porosity is one who needs to wash hair so often because somebody with high hair porosity is one who easily gains moisture but easily loses moisture. That means your hair can dry as faster as possible. That means you can wash your hair even once a week of which one with low hair porosity if she does it right and the hair gains 
moisture. No need. You can wash your hair after three weeks or a month as well. Now, this is one thing that you should know. Hair porosity is one that you should base on to buy products. There are people who have to buy products that have oil in them. Shampoo that has oil in them. And then there are people who should not try buying any product, more so shampoo and conditioner that contains oil. That is hair porosity. The moment you understand your hair porosity, follow the right person, you're going to grow your hair to the maximum. It's the only thing you should mostly put effort to know, hair porosity. It's one thing that best, like it's everything you need to know. How do we check hair porosity? Get a few strands of your dry and clean hair. Get a glass of water. Get the clean strands of hair. Just drop the strands in the water and watch. Wait for two minutes. Wait until, like, wait for the reaction. Some hair sinks, some hair floats on top, and some hair is in the middle. If your hair floats, that means you have low hair porosity. If your hair sinks, that means you have high hair porosity. And if your hair is just in the middle there, it means you have medium hair porosity. And because of that, that's what is going to help you understand your hair, the products, water, everything under routine as well. How to moisturize your hair. I talked about LOC, that is a liquid oil and conditioner. I talked about LCO, liquid, that is water, conditioner, and oil. These all are based on your hair porosity. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for today. You should know your scalp type, your hair thickness, your hair density, your hair type, and your hair porosity. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And as well, if you have subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification button so that you get to know immediately after I upload a video. All right, take care. I love you. Bye-bye.